Hi everybody, thanks for watching today. I just wanted to shoot a very quick video to show you some of the things that you can do editing wise in both InShot and iMovie. So I'm gonna start with iMovie and show you some of the things that you can do in terms of with your videos and text and how to cut out parts in the middle that you don't want to be there. So all I'm gonna do is create my movie Okay, I'm tapping on a ton of buttons, but I just shot a very, very quick video to show you some of the things that you can do within the video itself. Okay, so here. Okay, here goes. Three, two. So as you can see, I said three, two, and then I paused a little bit. I'm gonna touch my timeline where my video is right now, and I'm gonna split the clip, and I'm gonna touch the part that I don't want, and I'm gonna delete it. Okay, so here. 10, 9, 8, 7. And what I did when I was recording it is after 7, I put in a part that I wanted to take out, and then I'll pick it up right after. So I'm going to touch the clip, because I know I want to split it again, and let's just keep playing. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so I know I did that, and I want to take out that 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to touch my timeline again. You can see it highlights in yellow split the clip and delete the part I don't want right there. So the final video looks like this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go. And if you wanted to add a title, so if you, I keep doing that, if you wanted to add words on the screen, like my name, for example, you can do so. So I just touched the T. So first I highlighted the timeline, the clip that I wanted to use. I touched the T at the bottom and you can see right here all kinds of options you can use for text. The thing about iMovie, which is nice, you can make it a lower third. And so I'll make this a lower third and I just touch the screen and change it to what I want it to say. So I will change my name there and I can't spell okay I touch the bottom part and there you go I still can't spell but as you can see very simple you click done and there it is the thing about iMovie is when you have the CG the the lower third that's what we call the name that pops up on the screen is in iMovie, it is there for the entire clip. So you can see right here, I, there's no option to change it to like zoom in and then Six, zoom out. Five, it's not four. on the second clip, but if I want to do the words, the CG on the second clip, I've got to add it again. So I can do that. Click the T, make it a lower third, and then I would do the same thing. And then from here, I just download it and save this clip onto my camera roll. Okay. So that's iMovie. <clears throat> Let's go to InShot and do the same exact thing. It's a little bit different, but it's it's sort of the same. So I'm going to upload that same clip. Okay, click the green button and listen. Okay, here goes. Three, two. Okay, so I'm going to touch the timeline. And in this case, I'm going to move, I'm going to, so I've already touched the timeline and I'm going to, put my thumb on this little rectangle with a, a vertical line in it. And I'm gonna move it to where I want the actual clip to begin. And it sort of locks into place. So now I'm gonna play it. 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, so remember that's where I mess up after the seven. And I touched the timeline again. So here you look above the timeline and it says split. So I'm gonna click that and press play. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so remember, one, two, three, one, two, three is my signal. I want that to be taken out. I touch the clip again, okay? So it looks like this, and I click split, and I take it out, okay? So I touch the part that I don't want, and I click delete, okay? So now I go to the beginning, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Was that good? 
in terms of what you did, so I laid it out and I made sure I clicked on the split on both sides of the parts that I don't want. Then I delete the part that I don't want and let it ride. In this case, the text, the CG, the lower third, whatever you want to call it, you press the T. I'm going to do the same thing here. And in both cases, you can change the fonts. If you want to make it that font. You can change the color. I want it to be black. No, I want it to be white. But then in this case, I can move it and then hit the check. But with InShot, you can actually make the name stay up as long as you want and you can take it down early which is kind of nice 10, actually. 9, so that video is done you click the check you save it to your camera roll from this screen okay i hope this helps let me know if you have any questions